What's up guys? This is Gojira2012 here with another toy review. And yes, it is kaiju related to all those people who are fanboys. And it's on a very special figure if I might add. It is the Treadmasters Space Godzilla. I believe this action figure was released back in 1994, maybe a little bit later. I could be wrong if I am, correct me. But this figure I found at one of my local comic book stores and I thought he looked pretty cool at the time, so I picked him up. And yes, he is a very nice figure, but I when I when I was little I grew tired of him and I like put him in my garage and then I was told by a few of my friends to review him so yeah here he is a very nice figure if I might add now Trend Masters has been known to do some pretty how should I put this delicately okay pretty fucked up Godzilla designs and this is pretty much it looks just like Space Godzilla if you look at the detail Hey, like, look at his face. He looks just like Space Godzilla. And then he's got, you know, the, the claws and the crystal on his shoulder and his little spine or dorsal fins, whatever the hell you want to call them. And then he's got his little tail with the crystals at the end. He looks just like Space Godzilla. But, and I'm pretty sure you've noticed this by now, but... Look at his paint job. What the hell? Did they just like throw Space Godzilla in a freaking paint container? Pull him out and then put him in another and so on and so on? This is like... It doesn't look... The paint job is nothing like him, but... Well, it, it's a kid's toy, so I, I can forgive it in a way. Now, I, I suppose I'll move on to articulation since I've already... You know pointed out the paint job and whatever they did. The arms can rotate pretty much. I, it looks like 180. Because, whoop, whoop, and, well, this part of the arm, and this one can rotate 360, but the arms get in the way, so you have to, I mean the legs, my fault. You, they, like, get in the way, so you gotta force them through. Plus, he, he's very stiff, if you can hear that, which I know you can. The head can rotate 360 uh, the legs very stiff uh, son of a bitch very stiff I'm not gonna rotate this one because it's a pain the tail can rotate 360 360 360 and this part of the tail can rotate 360 so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got nine articulation points. So yeah, let's move on to size comparison. I don't have too many. I don't. I used to have a green Trendmasters Godzilla, but I sold them on eBay last year because I needed the money. So I'll compare with compare them with this Godzilla, the Bandai Creation 12-inch Final Wars Godzilla. Now, as you can see, Godzilla towers Space Godzilla when they should be the same size. Space Godzilla should be up to here on him, but he's shorter. So, if you're gonna make a movie, this doesn't work out. Now I'll compare him with somebody uh, the Final Wars Godzilla fought and beat in seconds. Another Trend Masters figure. Gino, or the 98 Godzilla, or just, what are, or Zilla. <laughs> yeah. See, this would also go with your typical 6 inch figure. Because, just look at it. 
It don't work out at all. Not one fucking bit. So I'm just gonna pull him out of here. Now I'll compare him with one more figure. This guy I haven't pulled out in many reviews, but I thought he'd be exceptional for this one. He, I forgot who he's made by, but he's a very cool action figure. He's like, I'm pretty sure he's like somewhere close to 8 inches or 9, or whatever, I think he's 10, but yeah, I'm just going to move on. He's King Kong. Now, I'm not going to lie, this looks very accurate. Because just like in the 62 movie, Godzilla was bigger than Space Godzilla. I mean, fuck! Duh. Space Godzilla and Godzilla in the 90s were the same size. But in the 60s, Godzilla was bigger than King Kong. So, if you were to make a Heisei movie out of this, go for it. It looks, it looks very good. So, yeah. And I'm not going to go into history because if you're a true Godzilla fan, you'll already know the history of Space Godzilla, which is very brief. So, yeah, I give this action figure a 8 out of 10. Nice articulation. Weird paint job. Decent sizing. And just everything else I can throw in there. Now, if you were gonna get this figure, <coughs> Frank, uh, I would recommend that you get it. No matter what it takes, because the Trendmasters Godzilla figures are becoming very rare. So, pull out some of that moolah and try and get him. Get the picture. Okay. Sorry, I've smoked a, I smoked 12 pounds of hash yesterday. Yeah, that's it. See you guys later.